Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am updating my previous handbrake best settings video for 2020. If you have slow internet like myself, you may be looking for a way to lower your video file sizes. Handbrake allows you to lower your file size by over 50% without a noticeable loss in quality. So let's get right started here. The first thing you are going to see when you open up handbrake is the source selection. You can open up a whole folder, a single file, or you can drop a file or folder here. So I have a video prepared here. This is a video from a few years ago on Fortnite. Um, it is currently 462 megabytes, and we'll see what that, what hand rate can do to that file size to shave tens of minutes and possibly even hours off of the upload time. For me, that it will shave likely at least an hour off. All right, I'm going to select this random preset here just to change my settings and I will go through the settings one by one and tell you what your settings should look like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new preset over in the preset tab right here. If you do not see this, go ahead up to the top and click presets and it'll pop up right here. We're going to add a new preset, give it whatever name you want, we'll call it video and you can put it in a new category here like custom presets or a brand new one the dimensions you can use always use source or you can specify a certain resolution like 1920 by 1080 i highly recommend going into the selection behavior for the audio sometimes you could experience some underwater or some weird sounding audio after exporting from handbrake so it's very important that your sample rate you select as the same as what you recorded at. So for me, that is 48. Likely either going to be either 44.1 or 48. I recommend selecting stereo and make sure that your bit rate is at the same rate. The default for OBS and slobs is 160. And make sure you set the codec to MP3 and hit apply. For the subtitles, I don't need to add a foreign audio scan or any burn in behavior. I don't need any subtitles or anything like that. So I can just turn those off and then hit add select your new preset and now basically just follow along with me in the summary tab we're going to want mp4 as the format we're going to want to turn on web optimized and align audio video start that's basically all for this tab next in the dimensions tab make sure your source resolutions are the same we're going to change anamorphic to loose, keep modules at two, and the cropping just at automatic. Next to the filters tab, we can change the interlace detection to default. And other than that, just make sure all your settings match as mine. These are all as they should be. Next to the video tab. In the video tab, we're going to want to set our video codec to H264 x264 if you want you can use the gpu um, if you have a supported graphics card it will make the render much faster but that comes at the expense of a larger file size so you can do some experimenting with that and you'll have to change this bar numbers i haven't done the experimenting myself so i just recommend sticking with the default here and just use your cpu because it is more efficient at exporting the frame rate you're either going to want same as source or 60 FPS. I'm going to select same as source as a variable frame rate. Down here under optimize video, the encoder preset, we're going to want to set to medium. The encoder profile can be auto, the encoder level auto, no advanced options. Up here, this is the bread and butter of handbrake, this slider right here. This will determine how much quality, how much bit rate is put into your video versus how the file size is. If you do a lossless quality of zero, what you're gonna end up with is a file size like 10 times larger than the original. And if you go all the way over here, you're gonna end up with a video that's not even viewable. But it'll be very small in file size. So what you wanna do is find the sweet spot. So if we hover a mouse over here, we can see what it recommends. So for standard definition sources like 720p, they recommend 18 to 20. And for high definition sources like 1080p, they recommend from 20 to 23. So I actually recommend using from 23 to 25 or 26. I wouldn't really recommend pushing 26, so you might start seeing some uh, 
quality loss, but uh, also keep in mind, as they noted, um, depending on the resolution of your video, either being 720p or 1080p or 4K, you're going to have to experiment, rewatch your videos before you upload them, make sure the quality, the audio, everything's good. You can find the sweet spot for you. I'm going to set this to 23. Next, the audio tab. Because we set it up earlier in the preset, we don't have to change anything here. But just double check that your codec is set to MP3, your bitrate is set to the same as your recording software, and your mix down is stereo or whatever you would like it to be. And also the sample rate right here, make sure that's set to the correct sample rate. Subtitles, I don't want any subtitles. You might see something here, you can just click the X to get rid of it. And chapters, there's nothing to do here except we don't need chapter markers. Waste of time, possibly even a waste of space. So now that we've gone through all of the settings, we've imported our video, we've set up our settings, we've got our preset here. We're going to go down to options here and select update selected preset. What that'll do is save your current settings to that preset. So every time you launch Handbrake, you can click this and it'll open up all of your settings. You can even go a step further and set it to the default preset, which will be the bold one. So every time you launch Handbrake, it'll automatically select these settings. Now at the bottom here as save as, hit browse. And all I do is select the original file and then add either Handbrake or HB to the file name, hit save. Make sure it says .mp4 or matches with the same format as up here and hit start encode. Down at the bottom here, we can see the percentage it is completed, how many frames per second it is processing, the average, the estimated time remaining, so this will take about two minutes, and the time elapsed. In the bottom right, there's a when done option, so you can tell your computer to shut down, sleep, hibernate, lock, log off, or quit the application once it finishes. I usually just leave this at do nothing. All right, our video is now rendered from Handbrake. So our original video file, 462 megabytes. Let's take a look at the Handbrake render. 278 megabytes. So we shaved off about 190 megabytes, I believe. Somewhere around 190 megabytes removed from the file. So this went from about an hour and 20 to an hour and a half long upload to less than an hour upload for my internet with a non-distinguishable quality. And to prove to you that there is no file loss, we'll view the first 10 seconds of each clip and you can compare the quality for yourself. We'll go a couple more seconds and get that shot off and not a headshot somehow. All right, 17 seconds in. Now let's look at the handbrake render. Now in person, if you really look, you may notice some differences, but overall the quality, is, the quality difference is honestly not noticeable and people viewing the video for the first time, they would never even know. And especially once these videos are uploaded onto YouTube and YouTube compresses them even further and lowers the quality even further, you will not notice a quality loss. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. Your support would mean a lot. If you have any questions or issues, please leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you all in my next video. Oh,